Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to use pie charts in Excel. The data that I have set up is pretty simple and straightforward. In column A, I've got the type, I've got chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry because we're talking ice cream. And then in column B, I've got the amount, uh, maybe the amount sold. So in order to use a pie chart, it's really quite straightforward. You want to take your cursor and we're gonna hold down and highlight the data that we want to appear in the pie chart. Once we have it, everything highlighted, we're gonna go up to the insert tab, click on it, and then over in this chart area, you can see right here, there's a button for pie charts. So I'm gonna click on that. And once I click on that, you can see that a couple of different options appear. And I'm gonna go through quick and show you what each one will look like once you click it. So up first is we're gonna go through the 2D pie charts. If you click this first option here, this is what your chart is going to look like. If you click the second option here, this is what your chart is gonna look like. The third option in the last 2D pie chart will have your data looking like this. Clicking on the only 3D option is really similar to the 2D pie chart that we did at the beginning. Your data is gonna look like this. And finally, if you click on donut, your data is gonna look kind of the same as the pie chart, but with a big hole in the middle. No matter what one you select, it's all the same pretty much. It's just like a formatting preference and how you want your data to look. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna click the first 2D option that we looked at because that's kind of the most like traditional pie chart that you would think of. So you can see here that it pretty much shoots out exactly what we'd expect it to look like. It takes the three columns or the three cells of the different types and then it proportionally fills in the area of the pie chart because up here we can see that chocolate is the biggest um, and then strawberry and then vanilla which corresponds with the values here. Now there's a couple of formatting changes that I think that you'd probably want to know how to do and I certainly want to do for this. The first thing that's most obvious to me is that right now I've got chocolate is blue, vanilla is orange, and strawberry is gray. That's how Excel defaulted out the values. And I wanna change that to brown, kind of like a white color, and then maybe a pink or a red for strawberry. So to change the color of your pie chart, if you click on the actual graphic in the middle one time, you can see that the entire circle highlighted here. And we wanna be more specific than that, right? I wanna change just chocolate to start. So I'm gonna click again on the blue area. And you can see when I clicked on the blue area, where it highlighted, kind of seen with these three dots, changed. And right now, I can just tell you that we've highlighted just the chocolate data. But from here, I'm gonna go up into the Format tab up top. And then where it says shape fill, I'm gonna click this bucket and I want to make it a brown color we said. So you can see that Excel gives us a lot of options here. For example, I could click green and it would turn green, but there's really not a good brown option. So once I have this bucket open, I'm gonna actually click on uh, more fill colors because I haven't really found the color that I want. And then this little box is going to open. From here, you can hold your cursor and kind of look around until you find the exact color that you want. So to find a brown, it's kind of a trickier one, but I'm gonna go in between like yellow and red, and then I'm gonna move this little slider down a little bit to make it darker. And I can see right here in this little box, it's giving me a display of what the color I'm currently at looks like. So to me, that looks like a good chocolate color. So I'm gonna click OK and you can see that um, the chocolate is now brown. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with strawberry. Again, I'm gonna click on it once, and since I was already clicked into it, it looked like it worked, but if this isn't working for you, you might need to click um, twice. So this is the first one. You can see all the dots everywhere. Clicking on it again, just the strawberry highlights. Same as before, we're gonna click Shape Fill. And then for this, I think that the standard red looks pretty good. I don't need to go into more, uh, more colors. And then finally, um, vanilla. I'm gonna click into it once, and I think this is probably gonna be the trickiest one uh, because white might just kind of bleed into the background. So I'm just gonna click white. And what I feared kind of happened, but we're gonna leave it for now. 
So because my white is now part of the background, I think that uh, outline is necessary, right? So I'm going to click into the white, same way as before, I clicked twice in the white section, in the vanilla section, and right next to the bucket where I was doing shape fill, there's another one that says shape outline. So I'm gonna click the drop down arrow, and I think the most standard outline, you can choose any color you want, but I'm just gonna do a black one to see how that looks. Okay. I like how that looks, but one thing that I'd like to change is I think that everything needs an outline in order to match. So I'm going to click onto the graph one time, and then I'm going to click the outline button. And you can see now everything's got an outline, and I think that that looks pretty good. The next thing that I want to work on in this graph that I don't really like is it automatically took the column B title, which was amount, and it put it as the chart title, which it could be nice that Excel has a brain and is thinking for you, but in this instance, I don't think that amount really says enough about what I'm trying to do here. So I want to switch that. So if you want to switch your chart title, you can go ahead and click the amount button. And you can see when I did that, that the traditional kind of typing icon or the typing cursor appeared. So I'm going to highlight actually the area and I'm going to say ice cream sales. And then once I'm finished typing, you don't need to hit enter because that will take you down to the next line as if you were in Microsoft Word. I'm just going to click off into any kind of any area of the spreadsheet really will take you away from it. And you can see now that we've changed the, um, the chart title. One last thing that I'd like to do here is show you how to change the chart type. So let's say that you format all this stuff, you put in all this work, and you want to change the chart type um, from the traditional 2D pie into the donut shape, let's say. Rather than going in and starting from the top again and making all the changes, there's a more simple way to go about and do what we did. So if you click on your chart, you can see when I clicked on it, um, a couple of extra tabs appeared. And one of those tabs that appeared was chart design. In the chart design tab, you can go over to the change chart type button right here. I'm gonna click the drop down. I'm gonna go to the pie, which is where we started. And you can see, same as right in the beginning, you, you have the ability to select all of these different types again. So I'm going to simply go down to Donut, and I'm going to click on that. And you can see that Excel has switched how the chart looks, or how the um, pie graph looks. And it's kept all the formatting changes that I've made, which saves a lot of time. So one big thing that comes up when you're working with pie charts a lot is if you have a bunch of different data, and not just the simple you know, 3 and 3 that we did at the beginning. Let's say that this is over multiple days or different locations, and you've got different chocolate or flavor sales that you have, right? We've got a chocolate sale here and a chocolate sale in um, row five as well. So if you were to take all of this data, highlight it, we're gonna go to the insert tab again, and you don't need to follow along right now, you can just watch, and we can do the 2D pie. You can see that a bunch of different data appeared, right? It has chocolate multiple times. It has vanilla every time because it's taking every single row that you've entered data in and it's not seeing it as the same thing, right? It's not seeing each chocolate value as one thing and combining them. It's showing you multiple values for each one because a traditional pie chart's not smart enough to see that and combine it together like you might want. There's two ways that you can handle this situation. And I'm gonna show you the better way and I'll just talk through the worst way. So the worst way that you could handle this or a not so efficient way I should say is you could make it three total columns down here and you could do a sum if function and say, add everything together if the total is chocolate and then it would put your values down here and you would be able to make a graph off of the sum functions that you um, entered in here. And honestly, it's a valid option. It would work, um, but it's not the most efficient way of working. I'm gonna go in and delete the graph that I just made because it wasn't good for what I want. And what we're actually going to do to make this happen is we're going to do a pivot chart. Now, I've got a separate video on pivot charts that I recommend you watch if you wanna do this. I'm gonna go through fairly fast here because I just wanted to show you how pie charts work in this video, but I'll make sure to link the pivot chart video um, down below. 
So in order to sum these together with a pivot chart and make it look like a pie chart, I'm going to highlight everything, click the insert tab, and then we're gonna click the pivot chart button. From here, all the standard, um, standard settings are okay, and we're gonna click okay because of that. And like always, we can do the amount down below in the values. And then I want to do type actually on the X axis. And from here, you can see that it separated it into a bar graph with chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, which is fine, but we're not looking for bar graphs. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on here and I'm going to do um, change the chart type. And I'm going to go to pi and I'm going to click 2D pi. And from here, you can see that. Um, the, the pivot chart looks more like what we would want it to look like. And you can see if you look over in the values actually, if that's big enough to actually see, um, over in A and B, Excel has added up the totals of each. And this is gonna be true even if you go in and you add more values, it's automatically gonna update it. So again, I know that this pivot chart section specifically was 90 miles an hour. Um, but I've got a whole other video on this. So if this is kind of more what you're looking for, make sure to check out that video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a like. If you're struggling with a certain topic in Excel that you'd like help on, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll make a video. Thanks again.